There's not really a lot online about our next author. Frank L. Packard's parents were Americans. They moved to Montreal, Canada, where Frank was born in 1877. He received a Bachelor's of Science degree from McGill University in Montreal, becoming a civil engineer for the Canadian Pacific Railway. His earlier stories revolved around trains and the rails. Then he switched to mysteries. His most famous character was Jimmy Dale, a gentleman thief and master safecracker. Packard is listed on IMDb as writer on 12 movies, including Jimmy Dale, alias The Grey Seal, in 1917. Doors of the Night, published in 1922, uses almost the exact same plot as his Jimmy Dale and the Phantom Clue, also from 1922. In Doors of the Night, Billy Kane, personal assistant to a rich philanthropist, is framed for his employer's death and the theft of a fortune in rubies. On the run in New York City, he is mistaken for a local crime boss named The Rat. He then runs afoul of the woman in black, who intends to blackmail the rat into sabotaging his own crimes. One day, the rat's syndicate sends Billy a message in cipher. Pause here if you want to try solving this cipher on your own. We have no background on the cipher, and we don't have any realistic probable words to work with at this point. We know that the message is between gang members, and we might be able to guess at the kinds of crimes they could be discussing. Along with everything random, we might try bank, safe, cash, money, or dollars. Pause here if you want to try solving this cipher on your own now. If we treat this as an unknown, the first step is to run a frequency count on the letters. Pause here if you want to do the letter count on your own. We have peaks at B with 16, F with 27, and U at 23. You might get an idea of the kind of cipher used here just by looking at the numbers. But let's use a graph comparison. Comparing our distribution at the bottom with the normal English graph at the top, the peaks and valleys don't exactly line up, meaning that this probably isn't a transposition of some kind. But we do have distinct peaks and valleys, indicating that we may have some kind of Caesar shift. If we shift the cipher graph one position to the left, it looks like we have a match. What happens if we Caesar shift the cipher so that A is equal to B? Pause here if you want to try solving this cipher on your own. First, strip out the numbers. Then, do the Caesar shift on the text. We get what looks like an unreadable mess, but just look over the text loosely. Your eye may catch on something that initially reads like device, but can also be read backwards as received. Additionally, we can find diamonds and between. Pause here if you want to try solving this cipher on your own now. If we reverse the message, it's still oddball. Let's see if we can make it more readable by adding the word spaces. Up cough him make an earth to mow the run else. Again, the message seems to have been reversed. Reading from the bottom right, we get Dutchy Vetter received consignment diamonds, $10,000. This leaves one more question we can ask. Is it possible the numbers had some kind of purpose? First, extract the numbers from the original message. Next, try taking the first four words from the bottom right 
and matching them to the first four numbers from the list. Duchy is six letters long, Vetter is six letters, Received is eight, and Consignment is eleven. Yes, they match up with the letter counts in each word. I'll assume that everyone still watching me either hasn't figured out the trick yet or just wants to see how the video ends. There are three steps. First, go through the message and pull out all the numbers. They're the word lengths for the entire message, in order. Going through those numbers in order, add the spaces back. Second, the cipher alphabet was Caesar shifted one letter to the right. Third, reverse the words and add punctuation. Pull out all the numbers. Add the spaces back. Caesar shift the message one letter to the left. Reverse the words and add punctuation. Dutchy Vetter received consignment diamonds $10,000 today from Amsterdam. Have information the mole is laying a plant to get them tonight between 8 and 9 o'clock and divert suspicion to someone else. Run the mole to earth and make him cough up. Vetter is a Dutchman, a minor diamond merchant that shows up briefly just so that he can get robbed of the diamonds. The mole is the leader of one of the rat's rival gangs. Packard likes using gang slang, which often comes off as kind of silly, like it's from an Edward G. Robinson flick. In plain English, the message reads, The Dutchman, Vetter, received $10,000 worth of diamonds from Amsterdam. We have learned that the mole is planning to steal them tonight between 8 and 9 o'clock and place the blame on someone else. I want you to corner the mole afterward and take the diamonds from him. And that's it. Encryption. Encrypting plain text with this method is pretty simple. Get the letter counts of all of the words in the message. Reverse each of the words in their positions in the message. Caesar shift the message one position to the right so that A equal B. Remove the spaces. Scatter the numbers in through the message in order but with random spacings. Give the message to a friend. Get the letter counts of all of the words in the message. Reverse each of the words in their positions in the message. Caesar shift the message one letter to the right. Remove the spaces. Scatter the numbers in through the message in order but with random spacings. And that's it. If you want to read the story yourself, the link is in the description below. That's it for now. See you at the next bookshop. Got questions, comments, or suggestions? Leave them in the comments below. Enjoyed this video? Then I encourage you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. If you want to show further support, you can join us over at the Black Chamber Patreon page, where you can get access to more how-to videos and PDFs on solving the cipher types covered here, additional crypts to solve, and more. Links pinned in the comments below. See you at the next drop point.